Hey there, high-level enthusiasts. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of high-level workflows. Head over to the Automations tab and then click Workflows at the top of the screen. This is where you can orchestrate a symphony of actions with just a few clicks. Now, creating a high-level workflow is super easy. First, click on Create Workflow, and you can choose from any of the templates, import, or start from scratch. For example, some workflows they have that you can create include appointment, confirmation reminders, auto-missed call text back, birthday promotions, and no-show nurturing, just to name a few. For this video, we will start from scratch. Then, name your workflow. Make it easily memorable and specific for easy access. At the top, you will see the words Builder, Settings, Enrollment History, and Execution Logs. Builder is where we are going to build out the workflow itself, but let me explain the other three sections briefly. Settings is where you can adjust contact and communication preferences. Next, Enrollment History will let you know every contact who has entered the workflow. And then lastly, the Execution Logs will let you see all actions that were performed by the workflow in the last 30 days. Now that you know what each section means, let's return to the Builder section. Here is where the workflow will be built, starting with the first workflow trigger. A trigger is the initial input that kickstarts the workflow into action. It can be due to a new tag on the contact, a contact assigned to a user, or many other events. When you click on the box, a menu will appear with several different triggers. Whatever trigger you choose will be the action that brings a contact into this workflow. For this example, I'll choose a contact tag since it is pretty straightforward. When a certain tag gets attached to a contact, it will automatically be brought into this workflow. We will then click Add Filters and find Tag Added, and then select the tag you want to cause the trigger, and then click Save Trigger. Now you can click the plus sign to start the workflow. A menu will pop up with a plethora of options. This is all very subjective to what you want the workflow to do. Luckily, High Level is pretty straightforward with many of their triggers and workflows, so you can work intuitively as you go. Also, it's worth noting that a part of the Go High Level course package are the four workflows that we included and are as follows. Reschedule Cancelled Automation Workflow, New Lead Automation Workflow, Sale Completed Workflow, and Long-Term Drip Campaign Workflow. These can be downloaded and loaded into your High Level account. For this video, I'm going to create a long-term drip workflow over three months so you guys can get a feel for how the process works. After adding the initial trigger, we are going to click the plus button and select send email and fill in all the fields. Once you're done, click save action. Then click the plus button again and search wait in the search box. Since this is a long-term drip workflow, we want to space out each email or text by a period of time. For the first wait, I'm going to do 21 days. Then I'm going to click the plus button again and select send SMS and add the message I want to send or use a template. You can continue adding as many wait periods and messages as you want. Once you reach the number of messages and time you'd like for the workflow to go, you're all done. The last thing you'll need to do is test the workflow by clicking in the top right and selecting which contact to test. After that, you can go ahead and switch the draft button to publish and watch your workflow come to life. As one last tip, I recommend playing around with all the buttons and options to get familiar with them. Then, if you see a need for your business, you can create any kind of workflow your heart desires. And there you have it. High-level workflows demystified. See you in the next one.